I'm very honored to be with all of you today, particularly my sister, Mamun Farsi, and you, Dr. Nabi. You are not alone, and you have come to stand next to me. This is my show with you. I can't figure out, you come and stand next to me. <laughs> you can't be alone, and you will never let Syria to be alone. Syria is a culture, is a history, is a civilization, is a community, is a heritage, is a language, everything. We, shall, we cannot let all this to be destroyed by our ends. I've been watching the Syria. Mercilessly killed, tortured, day and night. And we feel pity for them. But we do not feel the agony of the children, the frozen children, the women, who actually don't know what to do with the children. The left over of the bodies of the husband or of the father. Everything. We are not going to be alone. We never really let you to be alone. We allowed the destruction of all this, but we are not really destroying Syria or destroying our future, our humanity, our nation, our moral values. It became a pocket. Even humanitarian workers nowadays use humanitarian response as tranquilizer, as sedative, as pills. It's the beginning. It's the beginning of a very long process and what happened to build Syria. And they build it together. Inshallah. All of us. No one of us can do it alone. No one country can do it alone. No one organization can do it alone. We have to do it together. We have to understand the value of partnership. The value of listening to one another. The value of building community. The value of building nations. And getting the culture and the heritage and civilization again. Otherwise we are destroying humanity. And we became or Syria on our face became like an ugly spot because we failed them. But we are not going to fail you because you are not going to be left alone. Are you going to be left alone? No, <laughs> no not at all. In fact, this is our beauty. And Baroness Vasi will do that. Ahir will do that. And all of us came here not to listen to speeches, but to do something. What's next? If ceasefire, Hold on, this year, do we have the vision, the budget, and the drive to rebuild Syria? Or will do to them what we have done to Afghanistan, what we have done to other countries? The media is not covering Syria anymore. And we'll go and look after something else. And this is what we call it in Islam. Do not advocate the need of the needy. God in Quran said, those who do not advocate for the needs of the needy are like those who do not believe in the Day of Judgment and are not be truly Muslim or Muslim at all. And this is it. I want to challenge all the humanitarian organizations to see them next year rebuilding Syria, not running away for another country or another crisis. Thank you, Robert, for, for inspiring me. Thank you, Barun Jassi. You are always an inspiration to me. I'm, not, I'm sorry because my, my TV memory is not very good. <laughs> I remember to recognize you this morning. And thank you all for coming to support the Syrian cause. Not Human Appeal, not Muslim Child's Forum, not Islamic Police. And to, 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 complete, to conclude, more than four five hundred million pounds have been spent by Muslim Child's in UK on Syria over the last five years. And it's something that the British community, the British Country should actually celebrate, or celebrate the success of the Muslim charities who are under the scrutiny of counter extremist, radicalism, money transfer, and uh, all the banks for closing our bank account and so on, etc., 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 etc. Thank you, sir. Thank you.